Lord. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful day again. God has blessed us. And, and the Lord says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. He wants to give you rest. So, so let's look to him. Father God, we come before you this morning. We're needing you, relying upon you, and depending upon you. You are everything we ever dreamed to hope for. And we thank you, Father, for it. We love you. We thank you for taking care of it. And we thank you for fighting our battle. We trust you. We trust you. We love you and honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. The song says we are living in a land where anything goes. Tossed in a land of chaos. Who will fight our battles? Mm -hmm. Rides in a land. People are fighting. Who will stand for our rights? Who will fight our battles? Mm -hmm. Who can we trust in the White House? So much lying in the corruption. Who will fight our battles? Bring peace to our <laughs> land. <laughs> and I like this, the next verse it says, mm -hmm. God Almighty, God Almighty, God Almighty will fight our battles. And guess what? Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord, I will fight your battles. Amen. So you know, Oh, uh, let me just say it like this. <clears throat> let me get you. Got a couple of things I want to share with you. Anyway, I was wake. I woke up one morning. I was. I think it's a couple weeks ago. And I looked out the window. You know how you open the blinds and see what's going on. It wasn't raining, but it was hazy looking outside. I thought, well, what's gonna happen? Is there a fire somewhere around? I'm looking around and. Well, you know, after looked at the news later, some not a, there was a fire break up, break mm -hmm. out in uh, Canada, and I'm thinking, how in the world is the smoke coming way down on the U.S.? But anyway, you know, this just this crazy stuff going on, you know. And mm -hmm. then one day, <clears throat> I got a point. I'm going. And then one day we decided that we was gonna um, go to a, eat at a restaurant, and you know, we done pulled up, and I'm hungry. And we get to the, get, open the door, and the door's locked, and a little sign saying, uh, short of staff, we're, we're not open today. I thought, what's mm -hmm. going on in the land, you know? <laughs> I mean, just, just chaos going on. Right. So then one day we, you know, we we had a local store. I am not name the store, but we had a local store. We done bought a little stuff. We coming out, and and the man standing at the door, he says uh, to the couple in front of us, had the buggy, I mean buggy full of groceries and stuff all in the bottom and everything and mm -hmm. and he said may i see your receipt oh my goodness mm -hmm. they started mm -hmm. cursing got angry and i'm i'm coming mm -hmm. behind we're, we're coming behind him and i'm thinking what what's going on all he said was i heard him say may i check your you know mm -hmm. receipt can i see your receipt and then i happened to notice did they both have guns they both, both had, had guns pistols, pistols, pistols on, on their hip side. and i'm thinking oh my mm -hmm. god this could turn into a Chaos, because I've heard so many people say they go somewhere, mm -hmm. innocent stand by and they get shot. And so I didn't, you know, I just started praying. Oh, shit, they go out there, they both go right there, because this could turn into something bad. I mean, all the way out into the parking lot. Attitudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, attitudes. Mm -hmm. And all the men said was, Can I see your receipt? To me, you look guilty. <laughs> they wouldn't even show on the receipt. Yeah, never did show on the receipt. Never did. Never did show on the receipt. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing was on a vacation. I'm just showing things that was happening. And I'm sure you experienced some things too, but we're on vacation. Just, we just enjoying ourselves. And we decided to go out and eat some lunch. And, you know, we picked a place. We're not sure. We've never been there before. We we'll go in, and the woman said, Well, it's a 15 minute wait. But if you go outside on the patio, you don't have to wait. Now, we're not ones that really like eating on the patio, but I thought, Yo, it's a nice day. It's pretty. Let's go outside. <laughs> all of that food, no time I threw all that food, it's just a chaos done happen. Woman mm. got ready to leave the restaurant and some kind of way slipped off the sidewalk and fell flat on the face, blood going everywhere. <laughs> and, and my point of it, I'm telling you all these stories, it's, it's just chaos everywhere. I mean, it's just, and then um, we went to see a movie, Sound of, of Freedom, and it was so touchy. It really got my heart. It's, it's like, things are going on in the nation that we don't even know what's going on. And it's, about, it's based on a true story. Uh, child trafficking, I think that's how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, how can anyone take an innocent child and do that to them? Not just one time, they take that child like four or five times a day, sell them to somebody. I'm talking about money, y'all. This is not somebody that work at McDonald's or something. This, these people pay big money to take their child and abuse him for an hour. So then the next hour, somebody else come in. But I'm talking about, so there's somebody that's high up. 
Mm-hmm. It's got mm-hmm. some big time money doing this stuff. And they're telling you that it's happening right here in the U.S. And I'm thinking, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it just it just grabbed me. You know, a couple of times I had tears come. It's like, how can you take a child and do something like that? How? And I thought, as I was praying the other morning, I said, Lord, there's so much corruption, so many things going on, and so many people to help, and it's overwhelming. And I thought about a lot. I said, my gosh, how we, how, how we in the United States become a Sodom and Gomorrah, I mean, so much wickedness going on. Nobody like they care. They just holly a lot. I'm having fun. They posting pictures, and <clears throat> and the world is going into corruption and all kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. and I said, I was just, I was just crying. I said, Lord, what do we do? You know, it's just me and Jane. What do we do? What can we do to help? And I heard so plain, I will fight your battles. And I said, Lord, okay. And the scripture says, in a. Uh, Zechariah 4 and 5. So the you notice know, not my words, okay? He said, Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. So there is hope for the Mars. So don't give up. <laughs> that's right. That's right. There is. There is hope for tomorrow, and we don't have to. We don't have to say, "Hey, can't you see that?" I think it's obvious yeah. the things that's going around us, yeah. and uh, these are just things that God says will take place. In fact, uh, it comes to my mind here uh, in the Second Timothy third chapter here. Uh, G, uh, G- the Apostle Paul said to Tim, God had said to Timothy, Pastor Timothy. He says that in the last days of the third chapter, let me, let me, if you will, let me read a little bit of this to hear you. So you know it's God's word. And I'm going to read out of the living Bible because I think it, you know, makes it a little bit plainer to you, okay? He says that he said, you may as well know this too, Timothy, mm-hmm. that in the last days it's going to be very difficult to be a Christian. Mm. For people will love only themselves and their money. They will be proud and boastful, sneering at God, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful to them, and thoroughly bad. Verse 3, they will be hard-hearted, hard-headed, and never give in to others. They will be constant liars and troublemakers and will think nothing mm. of immorality. They will be rough and cruel and sneer at those who try to be good. They will betray their friends. They will be hot-headed puffed up with pride, and prefer good times to worshiping God. They will go to church, yes, but they won't really believe anything they hear. Don't be taken in by people like that. Wow. That's, that's, can, I don't think I have to (coughs) ask you, do you see it? But you obviously see it, we're here. Yeah, yeah. We're here. That's exactly what's going on in this day and that. But, but thank God, through all of the chaos and the thing that is going around, I've learned and learning to trust and depend on yeah, God because yeah. he will, he has, and he will fight our battles. So that's all God wants us to do is just trust him. Come unto me, all you labor and heavy laden, says yeah. Jesus, mm-hmm. and I will give you rest. So come to him. You got to believe him, and, and the only way you can believe that is God said faith will come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you have to get the word of God to find out what the will of God is in the matter, how to handle a situation. Then all of the mess you see going on in you, you don't have to be uh, muscled or, mu- uh, or moved by it, but you can relax because God will fight your battle. Yeah. Right? Mm. <clears throat> so, you know, when I hear that I will fight your battles, that's the top of the day. I will fight your battle. And mm-hmm. then talking about God will fight your battle. Not me. I can't fight yeah, your battle, but God yeah. will fight your battle. Right. So, they, do That's you right. feel overwhelmed with so mm-hmm. much going on? You know, um, you, you know, maybe you've been praying for your church. It looks like they're not getting no better. It looks like you just, mm-hmm. just things. You just, you know, you got bills. You don't know how you're gonna make it, and you know, because of the economy and all this, and it's just, it's just so much going on. You, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. I just hear the Lord say, "Here, fight your battle." You may think, "Well, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do." Well. Like Pastor said, cast all your cares. You just got to trust him. Mm-hmm. Is it easy? No, no, sometimes it's not easy, <laughs> but you just have to yeah. cast your battle. Uh, he'll fight your battle. 
and, mm-hmm. and I've seen him do it so many times in our life. You know, you don't, we don't know what to do. Listen, when he told us that he wanted us to put this building up, I thought I was going to pass out because I'm thinking, where's the money going to come? But how many know that God will fight your battle? See, it was step by step. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. what we want, like we said, we want the whole picture. Yeah. But a lot of time, it's not the whole picture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First thing he said, just put the building up and have mm-hmm. service. So, you know, and next thing I knew, by faith, James just started doing the foundation. <coughs> That's a step of faith. They ain't got no money. We don't know what, <laughs> what, what to do. Mm-hmm. But he said, just cast the carol, mm-hmm. trust him. He started doing it all of a sudden, you know. Money just started coming here, coming there. Mm-hmm. But did it come all at one time? No. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a step of faith. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was by faith. It is. Yeah. That's how it happened. You you sat and you're waiting for it to come. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's like no, you have to step out. Step out and then things will happen. That's that's the way faith is. So even in one's life, you may wonder if things is overwhelmed in my life, it's like how could this be? It's impossible. That's because you're looking at the natural. If yeah. you look at only at the natural and you don't go to the Word of God to see what God said of the situation, you'll panic. You can't do it. You can't make it on your own. But if you come to the Word of God and do it His way, even though it's overwhelming to the natural. See, most people walk and live by the flesh, and that ain't going to get it. it. You'll lose out. But the Word of God is there, and He will take us from faith to faith, glory to glory. Itch by itch, itch step by step. He will lead you. He will guide you. But you got to learn it. You got to just say, start to where you are. Like, I, I, I can't do this. I ain't got to. You know, there are things that, that, that we have gone through, and God says, do this. And it's like, what well, we see the big picture is like, oh, you're faint because it's too big or it. But he'll just tell you here a little bit at a time. Just do this, do this. It's like, oh, okay. And through just a little bit here, a little bit there, and just being obedient. Just do it. You, you don't look way down the road. You look way down the road, man. It, yeah. You'll panic because, yes, right. like, how could this be? Just a little bit. Every time, as, as my wife was saying, just a, just, I just got the tractor, and I, I prayed to the Lord and got the tractor and started. <laughs> took a plow, a double plow, and plowed the land up to, to soften. It was so hard. I didn't have a bulldozer. I didn't have a I used what I had. <laughs> took a double plow and plowed it up just like I used to have a garden right here. Plowed it up, then come back and put the change, the attachments, and put on a, a, a box scraper. And then I come to scraper, and I scraped and pulled dirt to level it out, pulled dirt. Did it happen in one day? No. Just keep pulling a little bit here, a little bit. It began to form. It began to work out. Just kept on praying. The Lord, praise God, thank you. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Okay? See, but you, if you look at the whole big picture, say, oh, you will pay. You will say, forget this. I can't do this. No, you can't. But God can, and he will. He will fight your battle. Again and again, my wife and I have seen those. Our battles are being fought because we trusted God. Sometimes we want to do it ourselves. Get in there and just, hey, I'm going to do this myself. No, what you're going to do is you're going to get in strife and in division. Yeah. Now, Satan going to take you captive at his own will. Yeah. You got yeah. to let God, you got to trust him. Just be patient. You're going to have to wait. <coughs> That's right. I, I know a miracle is in a, oh, we got to have it now. But listen, you're going to have to come back to the word of God. You got to be transformed by renewing that mind. You got to. You got to, because if you do what everybody else doing or what you see, what's going on in the media, you will not make it. You will panic. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think, um, I can't remember the name of the scripture, but I think it says that, you know, while you're standing, while you're standing praying for your loved ones, your kids, or your nation, or whoever, mm-hmm. you know, don't forget to walk in love. Yeah, forgive and walk in yeah. love. Mm-hmm. You got you to gotta walk in love. And yeah, you will yeah. be challenged with that. Sure will. You will be challenged with that. Mm-hmm. And you, you might say, whoa, gosh. Oh, I'm going to slap them upside the head. Nope, yeah. nope, nope. Got to go back and see what the Bible says. Yeah. You got to walk in love. <laughs> I was listening to this, uh, this just this week. My heart went out for this lady, and, and she was, uh, had a position, a certain position, and, and 
it sounded like it may have been doing very well. But there were things that was going on that she said she know this is not right. I want the best for my children, and this is not happening. And because she could make a difference because of her position. But if she do that, then it will compromise her job. But she decided to do what she believed was right according to the scripture. And when she did, she says that she got some flack. They come against her like you wouldn't believe. She says she got death threats, all kind of stuff. She said, but I got to, I got to do what's right. Because they didn't like because of what she did. She changed her position and went to something else, did something else, what she believed that was right. They got mad. See, Satan was behind that. But if she keeps standing, I'm telling you, she will come out on head. She will come ahead. Uh, she cannot look at, she, I think she realized she cannot look at what it was right now. She can't look at her pocketbook right now. It's like, look like I'm going there. She says that it caused her chances to be less <coughs> of getting what she's fighting for. But how many know God? God. If she just keep trusting God and trusting, she'll please God. And I'm telling you what, she might be surprised. And what, they, what she will have will be better in the end. It'll be better than what it looked like. So we fight and we try to do it ourselves. We will lose. I'm telling you, we will lose. You know, God yeah. said he that tried to save his life will lose it. But he that lose his life for Jesus' sake and the gospel, he will find it even to life eternal. That's what we want. Amen? Mm. So are you overwhelmed with life? You <laughs> can get that way. But you know, mm -hmm. there's a story in the Bible in Second Chronicles, <clears throat> chapter 20, mm -hmm. uh, starting at verse 12 through 25. It's about mm -hmm. Jehoshaphat. He said, oh, our God, mm -hmm. wilt thou not judge them? For we have no might against these great companies that mm -hmm. come against us. Mm -hmm. Neither, mm -hmm. in other words, listen to this, mm -hmm. neither know we what to do, yeah. but our eyes are upon <laughs> In other words, good. we don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been faced with well, I don't know what to do, Lord. Like I was, I was praying, I said, Lord, there's so much chaos. What do we do? And he said, I'll fight your battle. That's good. And see, right. Jehoshaphat right. mm -hmm. was in the same situation. They're getting ready to go into battle, and he didn't know what to do. And then, the, you know, as they was in the congregation. You know, you're in the congregation. You gather together. You know, you got you got the strength when you gather together, whether mm -hmm. you know it or not. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, well, I'll, I'll stay at home and look at you too. Sometimes some things take place in the congregation. You can't, yeah. you can't, you just yeah. can't explain it. The spirit of God just comes, mm -hmm. and the spirit of God came in. And guess what it said? <laughs> in uh, <clears throat> oh, maybe <clears throat> verse fifteen, it said, and he said, <clears throat> uh, "Hearken ye, all Judea, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat." In other words, God gave me to tell Jehoshaphat what to do. He said, "Thus said the Lord upon thee." Now this <clears throat> is God's talking. The spirit <clears throat> of God is in the congregation. It's like <clears throat> a word of knowledge is coming. He said, "This, this and." That said the Lord upon you, mm -hmm. be thou afraid, mm -hmm. not dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle's not yours, but God's. In other words, that's all you need. You get a word from the Lord. It may look impossible situation. You don't know mm -hmm. what to do, but once you mm -hmm. get the word from the Lord, you just cast that curtain on. God's going to fight my battle. God's going to fight mm -hmm. my battles. You can't get in fear. Hey, it might look stupid. It might look crazy, but hey, you don't hear a word from the Lord. You just go on and do what goes to the Lord, and God mm -hmm. will fight your battle. Mm -hmm. That's good. Haven't you ever been in a situation where that something rose up and you didn't know how to handle it and what to do, and it's like, Lord, I'm sunk. If you don't come through from you don't know what to do. And all of a sudden, someone may else maybe was there and heard of the situation, and they come in and took up for you. And they handled the situation and shut it up. Now, I didn't say nothing. I didn't do nothing, you know. But they tell you, you know, and that's the way God is able. He knows how. Yeah. Same thing. God can come in and we don't know what to do over this circumstance and situation to rise up. God say, trust me. And we humble ourselves and don't try to get in there and do it yourself. Just trust him. Let him have it. Let him guide you now. Let, yeah. let him lead yeah. you. Let him guide you, all right? Look at him. <laughs> I know one time we were, we were believing for a house and said, <laughs> ah, oh, stem, stem. <laughs> One of the sisters in the church and didn't know what to do. We was looking at this show, this gospel station one day, and he said, there's somebody out there. There's another word of knowledge. Somebody out there is believing for a house. And God said, donate $500. We looked at each other. 
I said, that's us. Now, I don't know what to do. Because, listen, we ain't got $500. They need help, $5. And <laughs> so I thought, well, we can do we can do 10%. So mm. that's $50. So that's what we did. We sent a little $50 in. Like saying, Lord, we're going to go through with this. But we don't have the $500. We don't know what to do. <clears throat> but I mean, no. God will fight your battle. It don't come like it's think it's gonna come sometimes so you can't you can't pinpoint you can't say oh this is the way it's gonna come to oh no you just gotta trust the lord cash your care we ride in our little car that god has blessed us with we call it ishmael and you know <laughs> thank you jesus sometimes you just gotta say thank you jesus where you at just thank you lord don't get in stuff don't get lord thank you thank you thank you somebody slammed us in the back well the car was already I mean, it wasn't, I didn't get upset. You know, I thank God that we didn't get hurt. Well, they called the police. We pulled into the shopping center. Man come, the police checked it out. Well, the man that hit us with his, his car was worse than I was. And he had a newer he had car. A v, he had a V. Yeah. <laughs> in the back of it. So, you know, we sat there and talked and gave insurance cars out. But you know what? It didn't hurt ours, and I was like. Didn't hurt it at all. You know, you're going through so much. Be blessed. Go on, you know. <laughs> We got a couple got a call a couple of days later from his insurance company saying they wanted us to bring the car in, they want to check it out. I thought, y'all don't want to see the car, but anyway, we said okay. <laughs> Went in, they I checked said, the car out. I said, ma'am, it didn't hurt our car. Said, <laughs> <sighs> we sat down, they said, Well, we couldn't find the parts in your car because it's so old. You know, they couldn't even find it at the junkyard. So so what we're gonna do is just just write your check. Guess how much it was for? Five hundred some dollars. Five hundred ninety dollars. Five hundred fifty. Yeah. Five fifty. Five ninety. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was. Mm, just guess what? Now. <laughs> there's our pledge. There's our pledge. <laughs> God fought our battle. And there go mall. The mall. But there is a battle. As a like we talked last time. There's a war within me. I want to do it. I don't want to do it. Lord, I don't. I, I want to stop at the mall. I, Lord, I want to do it. No, I I don't want to do it. Oh, I want to go out deep. There's a war. <laughs> you know, the little commercial used to be a little devil sitting over here and the angels over here. Now, what you gonna, who you going to listen to? There's that war within you. <laughs> <laughs> we to came your home, put the money in the bank, and I sent the check off. <laughs> My point of it is God's fighting our battle. And then, uh, then not too long after yeah. that, we got a phone call from a brother that lived in California. He said, I remember my sister and I said, God told us to let y'all be in our house free mm. as long as you wanted to. Well, now, mm. that wasn't my dream house. That wasn't what I was believing for. But, but it, it was, was a house. But it was a house, and it was a step mm. of faith to move out yep. mm -hmm. and believe in God for greater yeah. things. So sometimes, you know, you, I, I, I look at people, and, and, and you're believing for something, and I'm not trying to discourage you, but sometimes you have to take steps, baby steps. You know, oh, I want that million dollar home on there. Mm -hmm. Well, do you have your, are you taking care of what you got now? I mean, it's, it's, it's order. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, are you taking care of your car? Are you, things that, are, how are you taking care of what you got now? Are you, are you thanking God for what you got now? Or are you just like, oh. I don't care about this house. Da, 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 da. I'm still believing that means that house or that. Well, you got to get some things in order, and God is trying to get you, get you ready for your blessings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we moved in, it and thank God, you know, uh, didn't know how we was gonna do that, but it was step by step. God fought our battle. Yeah, it is. And when God do things, He He do them. It's it's amazing because that that same house. Uh, we, well, we had to do some work on it. We really had to do some work to get it to be livable. <laughs> it was not livable. And God blessed us to, to fix it up. Yeah. And if the guy that fixed up, uh, the lady now that lives in the house, she was telling me, she, said, she didn't know that we used to live there, okay? And she was so, so excited about a house because she got a house now. And she says, I got this house. She says, it was so-and-so and this so-and-so, and she was going on and on. And I says, I smiled at her, and I says, <laughs> yeah. I says, I know. I says, uh, I used to live there, and I, we fixed it up, you know. For, and she looked at me, she said, oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> she she don't know had we not done what we doing through we have some prayers in that house and some work done in that house and she was so happy over that and the man says that lived next door he says he told me he says you know that house looked better than it did from the day that it was built. That's what he told me. I don't know because I wasn't born because it was an old house, you know. But he said it, it ain't never looked that good. And to see what God does, that's the wisdom of God. I didn't pay very little, very little to fix the house up. But it's got to first be a willing mind. Yeah. And I had a willing mind. And I said, go, and again, take it from faith to faith. Glory, glory. If I looked at the whole big picture, I said, forget it. Ain't no use of trying to go in that house. I ain't got no money to fix it up, and, I, and I'll never get it done now. And no, you, you won't never get it done. But start where you are. That's the way God's work. Start where you are. And a little bit here and a little bit there, you know. People without vision perish. Say, I can do this. I'm going to do it. And he'll open the door for you. And he said, wow, he that had shall be given more. But he that had not, even that which he seemed to have, God said, would be taken away. You don't want that. Amen? Okay. God will fight your battle. And getting back to mm -hmm. Je uh, Jehoshaphat, mm -hmm. and this is an awesome story. <coughs> what is it? Uh, chapter 20, Second Chronicles, <coughs> Second Chronicles, chapter 20. I think I want to go down to verse 16. And will you just read that for me? It's yeah. to 20, mm. yeah, 16 to 24. Yeah. 16 to 24, okay. He said, tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up uh, by the cliff of Zig, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. Jer Jeruel. <laughs> ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O oh, Jerusalem and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head and his face to the ground, and all Judah and the heavens of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites and of the children of the Korathites and of the children of Korites stood up to praise the Lord. God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose up, they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singles unto the Lord and that should praise the beauty of his holiness. And as they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy endure forever. Now, now did you yeah. get that? Mm -hmm. They praising mm -hmm. God. That's a right. key word right there. They praising right. God for to even mm -hmm. get ready to go to, they praising God for the <laughs> answer. All right. All right. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah. And they were smitten. Wow. <laughs> For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. And when Judah came towards the watchtower <coughs> in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. <laughs> and when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days in gathering of the spoil. It was so much. You're talking about wow. God mm -hmm. fighting your battle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they come out with so much stuff. <clears throat> but right. go mm -hmm. back. Didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. They got a word from the Lord. And then Jehovah, they started praising God for, for what was right. about to take place. Okay. So that's, that's a step of faith. Right. We ain't seen nothing happen, right. but you're going to start right. praising God because you got a word from the Lord. So, y'all, yeah. like I said, start praising okay. God. Mm -hmm. That was times I walked through the house, the, the house that we got in. The, my sister and I said we could stay there for 
as long as you want to i just go through that praise lord i mm-hmm. thank you i thank you i thank you for my new house i thank right. you thank you praise. didn't see no way didn't see didn't know what to do lord i thank you i thank you i thank you you're gonna open lord i just thank you i pray lord you're so good you're so good lord mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and one day it happened but it didn't happen like i thought mm-hmm. i got a word from the lord yeah go thee yeah. <laughs> and talk to your daddy <laughs> and he will give you land <laughs> <clears throat> oh Lord Jesus, I don't think that was you. That wasn't the word you want to hear. That wasn't the word I want to hear. There's a battle going on. I want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, Lord. Go with thee and see your father, and he will give you land. Mm. I battled with that the whole day. At the end of the day, I thought, let me just go do what thus said the Lord. Whether it happened or don't happen, I don't even care no more. Just busted my pride, and mm. you're humble, you you shame, you there's so many emotions going on in my body. Walked in, sat there and talked a little bit, looked at the TV, I don't know, might have been prices right. He used to like that and we sitting in and finally I said, Daddy, you know you gotta be humble because you don't know what to do, because you ain't got no money. Do you have any I said, Do you have any land for sale? I had no money. <laughs> But God, listen to me, God had already fought my battle. He had already worked it out. My dad looked at me and said, sure, for you, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't no <laughs> if, and, and, but, wasn't no this and that. It was just, sure. Mm-hmm. I thought, God, I already done fought my battle. I'm, not, I'm up here worried about this. And my flesh is warm within me. Like, I don't want to do it, want to do it, Lord. I'm, my pride, what, what, am I, what are you going to say if you want some money? I ain't got no money. So I say, how much? He said, nothing. (laughs) 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 But you know, I was looking to hear Jehoshaphat and them, and notice what the words say. The Bible says that when they praise the Lord. Yes, you got to praise him. Then the Lord sent an ambushment. In other words, they got a word of wisdom. Yeah. May God may give you a word of wisdom, a yeah. word of knowledge may come forth. Even today, as we praise God through your situation, you don't know what to do in a circumstance. You're like, uh, you may think you're doomed. The solution is right here. Yeah. In other words, there's nothing new. Just copy what the word say. Do what he say. But it's by faith. And is it praise God, Lord, I don't know what to do over this situation. You know I don't know, but yeah. you are God on my, but I praise you, God, for you have the solution. Thank you, praise you, and worship you, and I glorify your name. And all of a sudden, the word of the Lord came. See? You see what happened through the praise? When the praise is, somebody say, when the praises go up, yes. then the blessings yes. come yes. down. Yes. Yes. He give you a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge. Then you know what to do. Oh, you couldn't have thought of that on your own. So this is, I believe, what happened to King Jehoshaphat and them. As they worship and praise God, he came. He said, this is what you need to do. Yeah, yeah. Why push him away? That's he's right. your, he's everything to you. You got to be patient. You got to wait on him. You got to trust him. Yeah. But you believe, like you said, believe in the Lord your God. You believe in the word that you'll be ecstatic. Believe the prophets, you'll prosper. Believe what he said. You got to believe. What the words say, and believe who God sent the messenger. They said it. When you do that, put it together, praise God, thank you. <laughs> You're going forward. I'm telling you, that's faith. But that's how we done it. Yeah. That's how we done it. That's how we're yeah. doing it. That's how you're going to do it if you're going that's forward. Right. Amen. Okay. See, mm-hmm. God said, I will fight your battle. <laughs> and you have no <laughs> idea. But see, the answers hid from you. <laughs> For oh, yeah. you, mm-hmm. and as you begin to praise, Lord, I praise. Lord, I don't know. I thank you, Lord, my children. Are say, Lord, I thank you for my house. Lord, I thank you for a new car. Lord, I just thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Lord, I'm thank you. And all of a sudden, mm-hmm. you know, God talks when He wants to talk, so you can't make Him talk when you want Him to talk. <laughs> but when you just done gave all up, mm-hmm. cast all the care, and don't know what to do, as your whole, your whole best, I don't know. What, we don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. He'll give you an answer. Mm-hmm. You know, we were so busy. Then now, now look, now you got the land. Well, what do you do with land? <laughs> you, you gotta go see. A, you gotta go see somebody construction. Somebody yeah. to build you something or do something. We look. We tried to go find a house that was already built. Maybe we could drag it over here. Wouldn't wouldn't nothing work out. We're trying to get it surveyed. It wouldn't work out. 
and my husband, like I said, God works things that are hid from you for you. You know, he's, he likes to get on the computer. At that time, we were just getting the computer. Mm -hmm. Justin, I don't know how, how we got one. It wasn't a new one. Justin, we got one from someone. He, he worked on it, y'all, and fixed it and got it going. And <clears throat> Tang gets on the computer, and, and he putting our name in and all this. And let me tell you the, situ the, the thing about, I don't know if you remember this, he tells them that we'll want to build a house. And he puts, instead of him putting our <laughs> telephone number, because I said, don't put our phone number, because, you know, they be calling, they be calling, they be calling. He puts the church's telephone number. <laughs> we take off the prayer that evening. I think it was, I don't know if it must have been on a Friday. Went to pray. We got together and prayed every day. So it was in Kernersville at that time. Went there to pray. We done prayed. How many of we, hallelujah, thank you, G. We're praying, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Phone rings. Well, I'm gonna answer because you know, I don't think it's no scam or nothing. Nobody want nothing. And, and uh, they said, "Hello." They said, "This is so and so home builders. Uh, we see that you're interested in building a home." And then I, I might have handed my home husband. He said, "Would you would you would y'all be willing to come on down this evening and talk to us?" I looked at my husband. Like, Are you crazy? We don't have no money. Bad credit. And you want to go down there and talk to somebody. Got He said, well, I, I, it's no harm. Let's just go. So sometimes, you know, he uses both of us. And you have to, you don't, and sometimes you don't know what I'm thinking. I'm looking at him and think he's crazy. But God is using him. God had already fought a battle. Listen to me. God had already fought a battle. We get down there. I mean, what do they want the first thing they want? They want your social security number. They want, why? Why are you sitting there? I'm saying, no, we just want to look. Oh, well, what's your social security number? All they want to do is why you check don't take credit. long. Just, get your, just, give me your, just give me your social security number so we can go check your credit out when he come back. Well, coming up with this big old book, <laughs> Mrs. Frazier, you can get in the house you want. I'm like, God, done we fought our battle. We started laughing. We did, we did. When they, they walked up, we were laughing. We were like, mm -hmm. And, and today, I'm, I'm telling you this, when God tells you to do something, he's fighting your battle. <clears throat> don't just take the first thing. Don't, don't, you, you, you wrestle in your body, you know, you, like we talked about something. It's, it's a war going on. I said, I want the cheapest thing you got. That was the dumbest thing to say. That was dumb, y'all. <laughs> that was, and, and, I, and then I thought, then I thought, realized, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, I got to have a garage, because I know he like, Work on stuff. I said, well, give me another plane with a garage on and Then after I got to looking at that, I thought, hmm, I wouldn't mind if I had a little porch. And so I looked at another one, and I was brassing in between two of them. And, I, and as of the day, I hate that I didn't get the other one. But my mind was like, okay, now how are we going to pay for this? But how many know God will fight your battle? Go ahead, Pastor. <laughs> yeah, he did. We, we got story after story that we can tell. Yeah. But it's the hand of God. But you know yeah. what? Every time you you win the battle here, yes, it's another one. there will be another one. And you would think that, well, it worked right there, yeah. so I'm going to do it over here and it worked like that. But it's all by faith, even by faith. And you still, you can't lay your sword down. You got to keep that sword up. You're fighting. You got to fight. It, that's, that's the way it is. And you think that you done conquered it. Well, you may have done conquered that. But watch your back door because the enemy come through the back door. Yeah. Any kind of way, he's yeah. coming. He, God says, Satan seeking whom he made the vow, resist him steadfast in the faith. So you got to stay with it, even though you won that battle. You saw what he done. You know he's able. You know he's God. But when the next one come, you still want to go like, mm -hmm. oh God, no, no, no. Trust him. All God is saying, he looking to show himself strong on the behalf of them that will listen, hear, and obey. All he want to do is somebody just obey me, just obey me. Is it easy? No, because everybody would be doing it if it was easy. It's by faith. It's by faith. Most people are living off of their flesh, off of their senses. What I can hear, what I can see, what I can smell, what I can taste, what I can feel. And if, 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 if I don't have my senses, if it's, not, it's like, I ain't going to do it. You are never going to worry. <laughs> The way you're going to do it, you're going to do it God's way, it's going to be by faith. It may be, it will be an impossible situation, but he will prove himself if you trust him and you let him. But in order to do that, you got to be, you got to be 
feel his word, let his word into your heart. You, you must be born again. Let him in. Let him in all the time. He said, come, 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 come unto me. All you that labor heaven lay, I will give you rest. God wants to bless you. He wants to bless you. Watch and see, watch and see, watch and see.